uh, the low-cost domestic regional carriers are going to really support a lot of the near-term recovery, and they are going to enable a lot of the uh, long-haul recovery as well. Uh, Short-haul recovery will come first, followed by leisure markets, like I mentioned, and this is really going to be driven by a lot of low fares early on, and uh, the, uh, the premium traffic will follow uh, as the market continues to recover. The uh, global hubs uh, are going to be a very important part of the recovery process as well. Uh, we hear a lot of, uh, of news about uh, travel bubbles, long-haul travel bubbles for various uh, regions, and uh, that will uh, help the market recovery in the near term. However, it uh, is most likely not sustainable uh, without a strong uh, regional and domestic network uh, on either end of those long-haul markets. Next page, please. If we look at the growth rates uh, from 2010 through 2019, this was a fantastic era for aviation, uh, for the aviation market. 2010 through 2019, uh, we saw no uh, real substantial existential shocks to the system. Uh, we saw relatively low fuel prices globally, and uh, we saw uh, strong GDP growth rates around the world. And this led to strong passenger growth a strong global fleet growth and strong cargo traffic growth. 2020 through 2024, we are already experiencing the downturn, uh, and now we are focusing on the recovery efforts. Uh, I think that passenger traffic will recover will recover during this time. Uh, will will be uh, uh, will recover will be slightly depressed, but will recover through this time. Same with the global fleet growth. Uh, however, the cargo traffic will continue to uh, to grow uh, during this time frame. Uh, if we look at the next 10 years and then the next 20 years, uh, the our forecasted growth rates uh, will begin to stabilize through these periods uh, and begin to go on track with our long-term global averages of about 5% year-over-year uh, our PK growth. Go to the next page. <clears throat> Our current our commercial market outlook for the global fleet in terms of new airplane deliveries over the next 10 years is on the left and the next 20 years is on the right. 18,350 airplanes over the next 10 years and 43,110 airplanes over the next 20 years. This is primarily going to be driven by uh, single aisle fleets uh, representing 75% uh, of the share while wide body type airplanes will represent about 17%, almost 20% of the share. Next page. If we look at global freighter fleet growth, uh, 2019 global fleet was about 2,010 airplanes. Over the next 20 years, we're forecasting that the global freighter fleet will grow by about 60% to 3,260 airplanes. And of this, there will be about 2,400 uh, uh, 2, airplane deliveries uh, in the freighter fleet. And this will be primarily driven by uh, standard body conversions like the 737-800 Boeing converted freighter, the, the BCF. Uh, why, uh, um, medium wide body uh, converted freighters like the uh, 767 uh, BCF and large wide body uh, converted freighters like the 777 uh, uh, converted freighter. Uh, additionally, we will see airplanes, uh, a lot of growth in the uh, wide body uh, um, production freighters like the 777F freighter. If we can move to the next page. 